Hi again then guys, and so we've got another updated Lamar prototype tune for you today. And this time it's for a pretty popular model, widely loved, and still to this day, the only Japanese car to actually win the 24-hour race. It is of course Mazda's 787B. So you want your racing soft tyres. For suspension we've got the ride height, very similar to many of these other updated tunes. Ride height as low as possible at the back, 10 millimeters higher at the front. Springs on 17 front and rear. For dampers, one on compression, three on extension. Anti-roll as low as possible, camber and toe neutral. For the gearbox, you want to do a flip from 5.0. So in other words, you want to take up your auto setting to 298. Then take your final drive all the way up to 5. Then come back to the auto setting, click it down and up a peg, and then that will allow you to reach these individual gears of 2.6, 1.6, 1.1, 800 and 600. And then I put the final drive down to 42.50. For the diff, same as usual, low initial torque, high acceleration and low braking sensitivity. You want your high RPM turbo and your downforce set as low as possible. Traction control is turned off as usual. And so this is one of the slightly less powerful prototypes that are on the game. Still one of the most widely loved though. Not hard to see why. It's a pretty good looking car. It's got an iconic livery. It sounds like nothing else in the game. And its performance has always been, well, among the best in the game. I mean, it was first introduced on Gran Turismo 3. And ever since then, it's been one of the best cars in the game. For top speed, though, the 787B has never been quite as good as its rivals. Even as far back as GT3, it was always a bit slower for top speed than, say, the GT1 or the R390. And that's pretty much stayed the, the case through all of the games. Now, we have increased the top speed. My existing tune for this car did about 269 under its own power. Now we've increased that to 275 under its own power. So not a massive increase, not as big an increase as many of the other ones, which tend to have improved by 10. But you do have to remember that this engine has significantly less torque than many of the other cars, also significantly less power than many of them. And the car itself isn't so much designed for top speed as many of them are. It is more designed for acceleration, and cornering rather than just pure top end performance. It's kind of like the racing car equivalent of a motorbike in some ways. It's all about acceleration, high revving, uh, high range power and handling rather than just pure top end speed. That said, for its power, the top speed certainly isn't bad. As far as handling, it can take the corner really well. The 787B has always been known for its handling and that hasn't changed on GT6. The handling is very good. Obviously it's also a premium now, which is nice, you get the fully detailed interior. And as far as draft potential, you've got, I think around probably six or 700 RPM of draft potential, so pretty good on this one. So you should be able to draft it quite easily up around the 290 region, maybe 300, I'm not sure about that, maybe 300, but if it does do 300, not much more than that. So if you do need it to do more than 300 with draft, and I don't see many people using this as a top speed racer anyway, but if you do need that, then obviously, as always, just extend the final drive a little bit lower, say down to 4 instead of 42.50 or whatever you need, corresponding to how much draft you want the car to be capable of. But that will, of course, affect your cruising speed on your own, so you need to bear that in mind. But overall, it's a great car. It always has been, and it continues to be. Kind of disappointing to me that they've made the car a bit quieter now than it used to be. I think the main reason for that is because they didn't want it to out-rev the Red Bull, which is kind of sad because I would much rather hear this car than the Red Bull. But if you do decide to use this tune, obviously I hope you find it fun and it's definitely more competitive than it used to be by about 6 miles per hour. And if you're new to the channel or just found this helpful in general, feel free to subscribe. We put out new top speed tunes like this every day. And as always, thanks for watching.